Good day. Today is March 5th. Our devotion is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 15 to 16. Therefore, watch yourselves very carefully, so that you do not become corrupt and make for yourselves an idol, an image of any shape. Deuteronomy for 15 verse 16 a. What are your idols? In ancient Israel, it was not uncommon for people to make literal idols. These were often statues of wood, stone or metal representing gods and goddesses of the day. Baal, Asherah and similar deities were especially popular, since they were associated with fertility and prosperity. God knew the idols were part of the surrounding culture, but in his love and holy jealousy, he forbade Israel to worship them or have anything to do with them. Today, it's rare to see an actual idol in anyone's home or church. In fact, some Christians assume they're safe from idolatry if they don't sacrifice to statues or participate in other religions' worship. Actually, idolatry is far more insidious now than it was in ancient Israel. Today's idols can be almost anything. You can make an idol of your career, money, family, hobbies, or possessions. The Bible explains many times how serious idolatry is, so you must avoid it. But how do you know when something you enjoy or need has become an idol? You'll likely feel a check in your spirit. Ask God to show you where it comes from and how to handle it. You might also notice a deeper than normal emotional connection to the idol. Ask yourself how you would react if you lost it. If you can't imagine living a fulfilling life without that person or thing, you may have an idol in your heart. Fortunately, idolatry is forgivable and repairable. Once you know an idol exists, repent of your attitude. Ask God how to stop idolizing anything but Him and where the root of your idolatry lies. For example, if you idolize family members because you fear something bad will happen to them, place them in God's hands. Ask for deeper trust in His ability to care for your family.